President Chamisa blasts ED for turning citizens into paupers. Opposition NDC Alliance leader Nelson Chamisa has accused President Emerson Ngagwa's administration of making citizens' lives a living hell. Especially with the underperforming economy turning the majority into paupers. Chamisa's averments came at a time Ngagwa and his ZANU PF party have shifted into an election gear as they prepare for the 2023 general election. Two years ahead of schedule, at the expense of the economy, Chamisa said Zimbabwe had been further impoverished by Nangagwa regime's failure to address key economic fundamentals. Of interest to Zimbabweans is the fact that in 2018, 29% of the population was in extreme poverty. About two years later, an additional 20% of the population entered into extreme poverty on the back of years of bad policies. Bad governance, conflict, and a command economy, Chamisa told Newsday yesterday. Sadly, the incapable in government are celebrating the so-called surplus when half of the population is now wallowing in abject poverty. The message here is clear, voting for them is voting for poverty. This is why it is urgent for all citizens to converge. The MDC alliance is rallying citizens to unite, register to vote. Vote and defend their vote to ensure a resounding opposition victory in the 2023 polls. Everywhere I go, people are struggling to make ends meet, put money in their pocket get food for their families and roof above their heads. Life in Zimbabwe is such a daily fight for everything and anything from food, electricity, water, transport, jobs to money," Chamisa said. When Finance Minister Mkulinkyu is celebrating budget surplus. The budget cuts and excessive taxes have pushed 49% 7,9 million of the population into extreme poverty up from 3 million people in 2011 during government of national unity. In fact, in 2020 alone, 1,9 million Zimbabweans entered into extreme poverty, he said. Mnangagwa took over power following a November 2017 military coup amid promises of an economic rebound. Jobs, health for all in an end to load shedding. However, most of the problems he had promised to solve have worsened. 